Today we will analyze these two structure in ETAPS for different support condition. At the left side you can see that the structure is pin supported and at the right side the structure is fixed supported. In other words you can say that there is only one structure because all the geometry section property and load assignments are same for both the structures. At first we will go to plan view. Here you can see that restraints at UX, UY and UZ only. And for the right side structure restraints are at UX, UY, UZ, RX, RY and RZ. That means this side is pin supported and this side is fix supported. Now come back to the CD view. Now we will go to display then load assign go to frame. At first we will check wall load. Here you can see for both the structure the value of wall load on beam is 6 kN per meter. Now check partition wall load. Here the value is same for both the structure and the value is 5 kN per meter. Now go to display again then go to load assign go to shell. Here at first we will check for live load the value is 2 kN per meter square and the value of floor finish also same 2 kN per meter square. Now we will go to define we will go to load pattern here we have defined EQX here we changed only these two things that means we check mark on x direction plus eccentricity and x direction minus eccentricity all other values are default values of ETFs then go to EQY here you can see we check mark on y direction plus eccentricity and y direction minus eccentricity all other values are default values of ETFs for win x all values are default value of ETFs here angle is 0 degree for x direction for y direction there is only one change that is here we have inputted angle direction as 90 degree. Now we will go to load combination so go to define load combination here at first we can delete them all and again generate them concrete frame design convert to user editable ok. Now click on ok just analyze the structure ok let me rotate the structure we will go for displacement value in x direction sorry uh, eqx actually we will go for displacement eqx if we click on start animation you can see that the displacement or the rate of uh, displacement for this structure is more than this structure this structure is moving slowly and this structure is moving very fast now for y direction we can also check okay this is for eqx step 2 by 2 here the condition is also same we can go for EQY go for a start animation that means the rate of move movement of this structure which is pin supported is more than the structure which is fixed supported ok let us go to plan view go to story 2 here you can see for eqy the value of displacement uy equals 18.307 mm and for this structure the value is only 8.415 if we check this point here you will get uy equals 8.029 mm and for this point the value of uy is 17.485 that means the displacement of this structure is almost double than this structure ok and let me remind you again that this part is 
pin supported and this part is fix supported okay now we will go for design so go to design concrete frame design select design combination we will use these 18 combinations click on ok now go to design concrete frame design start design check Okay, at first we will see the value of column that means reinforcement result for column. So go to select, then go to select again object type, select columns, select flows. Now just right click of mouse, show selected objects only. Here you can see that the reinforcement requirement for this column at story 2 is 2568 mm square. On the other hand, the reinforcement requirement for this structure or this column at story 2 is 2438 mm square. That means reinforcement requirement for column is higher in pin supported structure and less in fixed supported structure. Also for this column you can see the value is 2565 mm square and for this part or this column the value is 2434. At the middle, the value is the value of uh, required reinforcement is same, but for this one, you can see again 2565 and this one is 232434. That means the structure which is pin supported requirement of, reinfor uh, requirement of uh, reinforcement is higher. Okay. Now uh, we will go back to the 3D view again. Uh, so, we will click on show all objects. Now, we will check result for this two beam. Show selected objects only. Sorry, show all objects. Select this beam, this beam. Similarly, this beam and this beam. Show selected objects only. Here you can see at top, top left required reinforcement for this beam is 487 mm square and for this beam 477 mm square that means reinforcement requirement is higher for pin supported structure also you can see here 482 this one is 477 here 647 this one is 626 this one is 657 and this one is 635 okay that means um, the action of negative moment is higher in uh, pin supported structure that's why okay let me show you more show all objects now go for this beam this to be so selected objects only 568 529 568 529 okay here also you see 515 526 515 and here 4 uh, 96 and also 496 that means here the requirement of reinforcement is higher okay show all objects now go to base here if we go for okay let me define a load combination that means uh, for service condition that is all date plus all life wall load, partition wall load, floor finish plus live load. Okay. If we check for service condition, display support reaction from here just select service condition, click on apply. So here you can see the value of FZ is same for both structure. Here you can see 144, 144, 144, 256, 256, 256, and 256, 141, 141, 141, 141. But at the right side, we are getting some uh, value of moment because here we have assigned fixed support. And for this portion, we are not getting any uh, moment because this one is pin supported. So, what is the reason of this? Uh, tutorial the reason of this tutorial is that if we are designing a structure actually small structure where we can't provide uh, pile foundation in that case 
which support conditions should we consider my suggestion is we can consider any of them but if we consider fixed fixed support if we consider fixed support we have to consider all the moments when we will design foundation for this structure but if we select or if we consider the structure as pin supported in that case we don't need to consider the moment that means if you assign fixed support at base in that case you have to definitely uh, consider the moments when you will design the foundation here you may uh, feel that the value is very negligible okay i also agree with you i also agree that the value of moment is uh, very small with respect to the value of fz but in our bnbc code 2020 the code suggested us that we have to consider this nine load combination okay this nine combination uh, those people who are uh, following my uh, safe foundation design paid course you already uh, know this uh, very clearly but here let me show you in short here we will go to define we will go to load combination now we don't need any uh, load combination for superstructure we will add a combo here we will take all dead all dead plus all life plus eqx suppose eqx okay so all dead that means wall load partition wall load uh, floor finish then select life then select eqx okay just we are considering this combination or you can uh, say that this combination number six combination now let me check the loading value okay date wall partition wall floor finish life okay now if we analyze the structure again okay go to support condition sorry go to support reaction now just consider that that this one is the governing condition between this nine okay that means uh, combination number six is the governing condition so if we are interested to design our footing for this combination as per our code in that case click on apply here you can see that the value of moment is huge that means here you can see that the value of moment my for this column is minus 57.0986 and almost similar for all other column minus 47 48 that means in that case you can't ignore this huge amount of moment when you are considering this structure as fixed though this is a, a small structure that means the conclusion is if you are considering your structure as fixed supported in that case definitely you have to consider the calculated moment by etf during foundation or footing design that's all for today see you in the next tutorial thank you